do you think I would get into Mensa? I have no idea whether or not I would, but I do have a perhaps arrogant, no wait, definitely arrogant, but perhaps justifiably arrogant, idea that a fair number of you think I would. Something about the public persona I have constructed or has been constructed around me is a good fit for Mensa. I might be wrong, but I reckon most people who've vaguely heard of me, if asked, would David Mitchell get into Mensa, would vaguely say, yeah, he seems the sort, before asking what the hell kind of question that was to ask suddenly in the supermarket or during sex. Now, if I'm right about that perception of me, why on earth would I ever actually apply? I'd have nothing to gain, and everything, in the perfectly likely event that I failed the entrance exam, to lose. So the people who do join Mensa are, it seems to me, those who expect that the answer to that question in their case would be, oh god no. People, in other words, with something to prove. You can't really imagine a prime minister or president joining up. You needn't think I'm just the leader of the free world, I'm also good at word games. And sure enough, when you look through the list of famous members and former members, it's short on professors and Nobel laureates and long on professional sports people, actors and glamour models. Not that there's anything wrong with being any of those things, I'm at least one of them myself. But they're all areas in which the response, oh and they're clever as well, is more likely than, oh and they're clever of course. Jimmy Savile was a member, Carol Vorderman is a member, Jamie Thixton is a member, Stephen Hawking is not. Maybe he applied and failed. Maybe. Perhaps the most eloquent way of illustrating what I'm trying to say is that CJ from Eggheads is a member of Mensa, Kevin from Eggheads is not. I can't help feeling that the governing characteristic of Mensa members is not, or at least not only, high intelligence, but a feeling that they are not given sufficient credit for that intelligence. But intelligence in the abstract has no value. If your intelligence hasn't been noted by your fellow man, perhaps the question to ask yourself is why you've failed to deploy it in a more striking way, rather than asserting your intelligence by joining a club, the only criterion for membership of which is that you can pass the test that allows you to join, like a sort of reverse Groucho Marx. Fundamentally, being underrated is a failure in presentation. I have always flattered myself that I am overrated. Perhaps you agree. If so, please don't feel obliged to leave a comment saying so.